Everyone needs a shoulder to cry on. Hi friends, welcome back to my kitchen. I welcome if you are new. I'm Cheryl, this is Table Full of Joy. And it is Saturday and it's raining. <laughs> but we have had beautiful spring weather all week. Really got me in the spring mood. And I was really wanting something springy, something um, grilled, you know, something like that. But it's raining, so we're not going to grill. But I do have some ribs. They're pre-marinated ribs. I got them buy one, get one free. I believe it was at Fred Meyer. And so I thawed those out last night. We're going to cook those in our air fryer because we are on an air fryer kick right now. <laughs> and so we've done a bunch of recipes in the air fryer this week. I'll leave a link in the description for all of those videos for you guys so you can check them out. But we're not going to do those yet. They don't have to go in for a little while. But hubby's out working today like he is every Saturday helping a friend from church. And so I want to make him a special dinner. He's excited to have these ribs tonight. He loves potato salad. I found a southern potato salad on Pinterest that we both are excited about trying. So we're going to give that a shot. I am going to make him a special dessert that he's really looking forward to tonight. We are going to get out our Pampered Chef ice cream maker. We have not used it um, ever. <laughs> I got it like a year ago and I just never got around to using it. So we found a recipe for a pineapple coconut ice cream that looks incredible and my husband is so excited to do that so we've got a bunch of new recipes to try we have a new barbecue sauce that we're going to try on those ribs when they come out of the air fryer we are in on we love kinders everything i don't care what kinders has we love all of their seasonings all of their sauces are phenomenal but we found a bourbon peach barbecue sauce that we're going to finish these ribs with it's going to be perfect with our potato salad we're going to have this delicious ice cream we're going to make a special drink that i have seen Fallon at Moss TV do several times, so I'm excited to give this recipe a try. Um, it is a refresher drink. I guess they do them at Dunkin' and Starbucks, I think she said. So we're gonna give that a shot this afternoon when hubby gets home, so we'll have a really special drink to have with our ribs and our potato salad, and probably some fresh fruit, I think, on the side. So let's get the ice cream done. We need to get that going. I've got a pot of water on the stove right here going to get our potatoes going. I'm gonna put four russet potatoes in this water and put a lid on it. And I'm gonna let these boil until they are done so that we can peel them and then make our potato salad. But we need to get this ice cream um, mixture mixed up so that we can get it in the, in the refrigerator for three hours before we put it in the ice cream maker. Our bottom for ice cream maker has been in the freezer since last night. So that's all nice and chilled and ready to go. So let's get this mixed up. All right, friends, so you are supposed to do this in a blender and unfortunately my blender quit on me um, a couple of weeks ago and I have not replaced it yet. So I'm gonna just do mine in the food processor. I think it's gonna be fine. I don't really think it matters a whole lot. We need three cups of fresh pineapple. It says you can also use canned, but I had this pineapple sitting over on my counter that we got last week. We fully intended to eat it and we just never got to it. And I want to use this before it starts to go bad. So I figured last night, I'm like, you know, let's make something delicious with that. Researching recipes, I managed to find a recipe for this pineapple ice cream. And I thought that looks incredible. Hubby and I both love pineapple coconut flavors together. So we're just going to drop this fresh pineapple right in our blender or food processor. I'm going to save this much pineapple right here so that we can do a little bit of really finely chopped pineapple on top. I'm also going to, I have some coconut. I'm going to toast up some coconut so we can garnish our ice cream tonight with this fresh pineapple as well as a little bit of toasted coconut. So to our pineapple in here, we need to add in a half a teaspoon of vanilla. a half a teaspoon of coconut extract. And this is a new bottle. I am a huge coconut fan, friends. I love coconut. It's one of my favorite um, flavors. I love coconut creamer in my coffee. So there's our coconut extract. We've got two tablespoons of fresh squeezed lime juice, always fresh squeezed, never out of a bottle. 
two thirds of a cup of just granulated sugar. And we've got one can of coconut milk. You want this to be a full fat coconut milk, not light. The light is gonna make it really, really thin. All right, so there's our coconut milk. We're gonna just dump this right in here with our pineapple. Okay, we're gonna push that pineapple aside. Let's get our top on our food processor. And we're gonna get this blended up. Friends, we got this all blended up. Just gave it a quick taste. It's not too sweet, which I love. It has incredible flavor. We're gonna go ahead and get this put into a container with a lid. So this can go in our refrigerator for three hours and completely chill. We're gonna need a lid on this. This is going in the refrigerator, like I said, for three hours so that it can completely chill. And we'll be ready to make our coconut pineapple ice cream tonight. All right, friends, our potatoes are cooked and cooled. We're gonna peel these. We hard boiled some eggs. We've got these, we're gonna peel these and then dice these up. I didn't feel I needed to show you how to boil an egg. <laughs> I think everybody knows how to do that. But my secret to this is putting them in cold water, bringing the cold water, bring it on the stove to a boil. When it comes to a boil, turn your heat off, put your lid on, let them sit for 12 minutes exactly, and they are perfect every single time. All right, so let's get our salad dressing made or the dressing made for the potato salad. I myself like to make the dressing in the bottom of the bowl and then add the rest of the potato salad ingredients just makes it easier to mix everything together and you're not dirtying a whole bunch of extra dishes because I'm all about that so let's get our salad dressing or the pota potato salad dressing made get our potatoes peeled our eggs diced peeled and diced and let's get this in the refrigerator we need to get our um, pineapple coconut ice cream ready for the freezer that's in the fridge right now chilling so i'm gonna go grab that once we get the salad done then after that we need to get our ribs in the air fryer hubby's gonna be home in a couple of hours and i want to put them in the air fryer and get them started and then we'll finish them when he gets home with the barbecue sauce so they can get nice and caramelized beautiful color on them and they're gonna be amazing so let's get our potato salad done so i've got my bowl here i'm gonna put in it says one and a quarter cups of mayonnaise i'm gonna eyeball it i think that looks about right to me I am going to eyeball everything because that's what I do, but I will leave the original recipe for you guys in the description box. You want a tablespoon of just yellow mustard. And that looks about a tablespoon to me or a little over. We need a splash of white vinegar. You can use apple cider vinegar too. If you don't have white vinegar, feel free to use whatever you have on hand. We're gonna put in some salt. Now remember your potatoes are not salted, so you need to go a little bit heavy on the salt because you are flavoring and seasoning all of these potatoes. Hubby and I both like black pepper. He likes it a little more than I do, but I do like a little extra black pepper in my potato salad. A little bit of garlic powder. We need a little bit of relish. about right we need two teaspoons of sugar so I'm gonna just eyeball that as well that looks about right grab my spatula and let's give our dressing a good mix and then we're gonna taste the dressing before we put anything else in this it looks like potato salad dressing to me Mm, friends, that is perfect. Perfect potato salad. All right, let's get our potatoes and our eggs dealt with. I'm gonna move this pineapple out of the way. We're not using that right now. All right, let's get our potatoes. We're just gonna peel the skin off of these. Everyone 
the shoulder to cry on. Everyone needs help. All right, we've got our potatoes peeled. Let's get them diced. And they're going to break, so I always tend to make them a little on the big side because they're going to break up a little bit when you start to stir the potato salad. So I don't worry about them being too big of bites. Celebrate each other, stand united as one. We lift our hands up and pray. Lay all our love before him with all our All right, now we need to peel our eggs and we'll get these diced. All right, friends, we got our eggs peeled. They were kind of a pain. These must have been really fresh eggs. <laughs> so I'm going to take these over to the sink and wash them because you can see I have a couple little pieces of shell. I don't want that in my potato salad, so I'm going to just give these a quick rinse. All right, got our eggs rinsed off. We're just going to give these a really quick dice. As I said, kind of like with the potatoes, they're going to break up a little bit. And I'm okay with that. But I wanted to show you, friends, see, that right there is a perfect hard-boiled egg. There's no gray around the edge. When you get a gray line around the edge of your yolk, that means you've over, you overboiled the egg. And so 12 minutes exactly with the heat off, lid on, they are perfect every single time. Other than the fact, like I said, that these were very fresh eggs and they were a little bit difficult to peel. Um, if you are not familiar with fresh eggs or fresher eggs when you hard boil them, they are very, very hard to peel. So older eggs are a little better for a hard boiled application for either hard boiled eggs, deviled eggs, potato salad, macaroni salad, any of those things. You definitely want a little bit older egg. All right, let's put our eggs in. You're gonna do a couple stalks of celery. And I absolutely love celery in my potato salad. So I'm probably gonna go just a little bit heavy on it. And what I love about this particular recipe, as you guys know, if you follow me, if you followed me for a while, I'm not an onion fan. I don't really care for onions. And a lot of potato salads have a lot of onion in a really heavy onion and I am just not a fan so I was excited that this one has green onion I can handle green onions they're a lot more mild the flavor isn't quite as harsh as a white onion yellow onion red onion so I was happy when I saw that this has just green onion in it that's something that I can definitely tolerate all right, so we're just gonna give this a quick chop. All right, there's our celery. Let's put in a couple of green onions. I got my bigger, I should have washed my bigger knife, <laughs> but I didn't. I'm going to save a little bit of the green from the top so we can just kind of garnish the top of our potato salad just a little bit, give a little bit of color up on top. I'm going to take an opportunity to make things look beautiful if we can because we eat with our eyes before anything. All right, you can see our potatoes with our eggs and our celery, our green onions, all of our seasonings. We're just gonna 
just really easily mix this. I'm okay with the potatoes falling apart a little bit and the eggs, but I don't want to mash them because I, I am not a fan of like mashed potato salad. A lot of times you get potato salad and they've just pulverized the eggs and they've pulverized the potatoes. And I am not a fan of that texture. I want, I want to know that I'm eating potatoes. Let's give this potato salad a little taste. Get a little bit of our egg, a little potato, a little celery. Perfect bite. Mm. Friends, that is incredible. That is gonna be even better once it's chilled. We're gonna get this in the fridge. Let it chill while we get our ice cream going, our ribs in the uh, air fryer, green onion right up on top, nice and pretty. And this is going in the fridge. All right, friends, I just grabbed our pineapple coconut mixture for our ice cream out of the freezer, or out of the refrigerator, sorry. Grabbed our base for our ice cream maker out of the freezer. That's what I meant. <laughs> We're gonna put our ice cream in here. We're gonna get the top put on it. We're gonna set this aside and we are gonna let this uh, do its thing. I have the, the base piece right here. We're gonna just set this up over here on the counter. We're gonna let it go. Um, I'm gonna say probably about, mm, probably 20, 25 minutes around in there somewhere, I think. I don't know if I'm gonna get all of this in the ice cream maker. We're gonna get as much as we can, whatever we can't, we're gonna put back in the fridge and it can just hang out until we're ready to make another batch. So here is our ice cream maker. We don't wanna overfill this. I think that's probably enough. And I can just put the rest of this in my refrigerator and hubby and I can make another batch later. Put our top on. We're gonna lock it so that it doesn't come off. Just like that. As you can see, I have not used my ice cream maker before, so <laughs> we are doing this together. Let's get this plugged in. Just like that, our digital readout came on. We'll turn it on. We're gonna do timer. I think we're gonna do, let's do 30 minutes and I'll check it. And there it goes. We're gonna let it just sit over here on the counter and make ice cream. Okay, well that's going, let's get our ribs dealt with. We need to put these in some foil. And I am gonna have to cut the plastic. I'm gonna have to cut these into two sections. So let's get our plastic open. I'm gonna pull out half. Let's take our knife. I'm gonna cut right in between the bone. Find our bone line. Just like that. Put that back in there so it doesn't leak all over. I'm gonna get a piece of foil. one here. We're just going to wrap these nice and tight. these in our air fryer on bake. So my air fryer has lots of options on it. It air fries, it bakes, it roasts, it does all those things. So we're just going to get this in. And what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to stand them up in here. Kind of at an angle. I 
you can see I have our ribs standing up in our air fryer just like this. I'm going to close the lid. I'm going to turn this to bake. I'm going to go at 350, but I want to go about 45 minutes. And just like that, our ribs are going. All right, friends, our ice cream, it's still pretty liquidy, but it's going to go in the freezer now. Our ice cream maker came with this fun little orange cap that goes on it. <laughs> That's what I'm calling it. We're gonna put that on here. And this is going in the freezer. It's gonna be delicious for dessert tonight with a little bit of toasted coconut and a little bit of that fresh pineapple chopped on top. All right, friends, hubby just called. He's on his way home. Should be here in just a few minutes. We're gonna pull our ribs out of the air fryer so that we can get them, uh, get some sauce on them and then put them back in. how they look. I haven't checked them yet, but let's check them together. Oh wow, they smell incredible, friends. Wow, those look so good. So I'm going to, I'm only going to put sauce on one section and put these in the air fryer. I'm going to save this section over here. It's just going to cool. It's going to go in the refrigerator and we're going to have this other section of ribs tomorrow for lunch after church. That was my plan was we can't eat all of these ribs tonight. So my plan was to be able to have some leftovers for tomorrow after church. So these are going to go back in the air fryer with some sauce. Grab my brush. I'm gonna squirt this on. We'll serve some extra sauce on the side. Hubby is, is a big fan of barbecue sauce. I just wanna get these sauced up really, really well though. They're nice and tender. Put a little bit more. Okay. I'm not going to put these on air fry quite yet. Hubby should be home in a minute. He is going to take a shower before we eat. So I'm just going to put these back on our rack for the air fryer. Just like that. I'm going to stick them back in the air fryer. Just let them hang out until we are ready to finish these off. like that they're gonna hang out all right the ribs are back in the air fryer they're gonna hang out until we are ready hubby's like i said he's gonna come take home and take a shower and then i'll put these on air fry just for probably about five or ten minutes just enough to caramelize that sauce on there get those nice and gooey and just amazing they're gonna be ready i'm excited we've got another whole rack to go for tomorrow when we come home from church I can leave them in the foil, put them back in the oven or in the air fryer, let them heat for about 10 or 15 minutes and then uncover and put the sauce on it and do the whole glazing thing with the air fryer again. These are going to be incredible friends. Hubby should be here soon and we'll let you see what they look like when they're done. All right, friends, our ribs are done. I'm just letting them hang out. We're going to make our special drink real quick. I just pulled our potato salad out of the refrigerator. It's nice and chilled. We're gonna scoop this up. Hubby just got home, he's hungry, so we need to get ready to eat dinner. So let's get our drink made. So this strawberry refresher, I saw, as I said, Fallon over at Moss TV. She's made this multiple times and it just looks super good. Thought it would be really refreshing, something different we haven't tried before. And thought it would go really good with our ribs and our potato salad. So this drink is super simple. I know there's lots of variations of this out um, on TikTok and, and everywhere else. But I'm gonna do the way the Fallon does it and we're gonna try it that way. And then I may try it another way with one of the other recipes that I found, but we're gonna do it the way that Fallon over at Moss TV does it first. So you've got your, this is white cranberry strawberry juice. 
and it is vanilla coconut milk and that's it. That's all that's in this. So you want, one thing she stressed when she did this is you want everything to be the same temperature. And so this is, my juice is not chilled. The coconut milk is not chilled. I didn't have time to get it in the fridge, but it's gonna be fine. You can serve this over ice if you want to, but it is kind of temperamental with the texture, with the temperature. So we're gonna do, I'm gonna say that's about mm, maybe eight ounces of the white cranberry strawberry juice. And then we're gonna finish it off with our vanilla coconut milk. I think this would be super good in the summertime. Um, one thing I thought, like I said, I don't have a blender anymore. My blender broke a couple weeks ago, but I think this would be really fun to blend with ice in the, in the blender in the summertime. If you want something really frosty, something really cool, I think this would be really tasty. So we're gonna put in our coconut milk. She did say if the temperatures are not the same that you'll get this to curdle and we don't want it to curdle but we do want to give it a quick stir. I'm going to give this a little taste. Oh, friends, that's really good. That would be really good um, blended this summer over ice. So I think we'll try that. But let's get our ribs out so we can get these cut. So here are our ribs. They smell so good. And we use the Kinder's um, bourbon peach barbecue sauce on them. Look at those friends. Look at, they are perfectly done. Nice and tender. Hubby's been working hard today. I think I'll give him three ribs. And of course we will have some extra barbecue sauce on the side. We've got our, I'm just gonna put some of this on the side with his ribs. Definitely need lots of napkins for these. It is ribs after all. All right, I'll let him start with that. All right, we're gonna go eat this. We will come back and finish our ice cream with our toasted coconut and our fresh chopped pineapple on it. So we'll see you in a little bit for dessert. All right, friends, it's actually Sunday and our ice cream is ready. It smells really good. It's a little more um, on the frosty side, I guess you would say, kind of like a, a sorbet, not necessarily like a, a creamy creamy ice cream but i still think it's going to be delicious we've got our pineapple our toasted coconut we're going to go ahead and put this in bowls and hubby and i are going to go do it enjoy a delicious little dessert so here is our ice cream i'm just going to put some of this in bowls It is gonna be really frosty, which I'm okay with that. It's fine. We're gonna put some fresh pineapple on this. A little bit of toasted coconut. Let's do our other bowl. I'm excited to use this ice, make, ice cream maker this summer. I can see lots of fun different ice creams that we can make with this. Strawberry, blueberry, come up with our own creations, which will be kind of fun. I like that this is gonna be nice and light. It's not gonna be a real heavy ice cream. Which probably means that hubby will come back for seconds or thirds because it is so light. Put a little bit of pineapple. A little bit of toasted coconut. 
is our ice cream. This smells really good. We're gonna go eat this. I wanna thank you guys so much for joining me in my kitchen. This, we made a delicious ribs, we made potato salad, we made this ice cream. We just had some fun in the kitchen. It means so much to me that you guys take time out of your day to come and spend time with me and see what I'm doing in my kitchen. Can't wait to do all the rest of the spring and summer recipes with you guys. We've got some fun ones coming up, so stay tuned for those. And friends, if you have a favorite ice cream recipe, share that with, the, share that with me in the comments. I would love to see it because as I said, we're gonna be using this ice cream maker a little bit more this summer, trying out some new recipes and we'd love to try yours. And friends, if you have not yet, please hit that subscribe button up there. Hit that notification bell so you're notified every time we upload a new video. And we'll talk to you in the comments. Have a great day and God bless. We lift our hands up and pray Lay all our love before him with all of our faith He is the change within us There is a light Let him lead the way Lift our hands up and pray Today